Tony Farm Guy here with a new mod test for Farming Simulator 22 and this is Vehicle Workshop by Pascal Krutz. 15.84 megabytes to download. It is 12 slots and I say only 12 slots on console. This is, in my opinion, probably one of the nicest uh, workshop setups uh, I have seen or encountered on farming simulator and that's a bit odd didn't notice that before hmm hmm curious um a little bit of odd yes okay i, I, I had a good look around but um that's a little strange but nothing really terrible right okay so enough of that where do we find this first now we'll find it under buildings and tools and there it is Vehicle Workshop, it is $225,000. No alternate colors or anything. It is like it is. Uh, let's just put one down here. And then demolish it. Because I'm curious about that deformation of... Oh yeah, look at that. Oops, we're inside. Hold on. Doors open. I want to go see this deformation of the ground where we... Uh, <clears throat> so in case you build one and then you demolish it. Mm, okay, I see what's going on. All right. So you're going to be left with this uh, if you build it and then uh, demolish it. Right. Okay. So, whoa. Um, it's a drive through as you can see. drive through Man doors. Uh, in a very in several places very nice so I mean if it's bad weather outside you don't want to open the big door just to walk inside main entrance is here and you have the repair trigger here we're gonna show that in a moment now it's quite spacious in here as you can see I have fit a whole tanker and truck with with room to spare this one does not have a pit, but these uh, three have pits, and there is a considerable amount of decoration in here, which which surprises me because of the low slot count. Usually, you see something like this; it's about up around the forty-ish slots uh, on console, and well, um, <clears throat> so even a even a table saw all sorts of stuff in here so that's the floor now lights what about lights well we have a couple of light switches actually here this one l3 and it's like well where's lights well those are the lights for the um the pit or the pits that's the pits <laughs> and the other light switch is right here that is for the interior uh, shop interior lights if we go into the oop, into the office here anywhere is the light switch and that's the other side of the counter for the work trigger if we go upstairs also uh, turn on lights yes anywhere nice little office space up here cleaver motors very nice the door opens and closes like thus uh, shelving space here although these can't I don't think those are removable but you could put stuff in the shelves here if you like little propane uh, buck 95 only well um, right okay so once uh, once you drive the vehicles in which uh, which one of them is the repair trigger you may ask. Well, you may be surprised. So let's hop the counter. They all are. Yes, indeed. Every single lane is a repair space. They're all drive through. Each lane is a repair area. And if we can get down, yes, we can get underneath here and check out the undercarriage. 
like you can't anywhere else well or nearly anywhere else although it is a little little sticky in there uh, otherwise um, it's okay this yes each one of these lanes is a repair trigger so very nice I don't believe I've seen anything quite like it um, no lifts or anything but you don't need lifts when you have a pit underneath the vehicle yeah and um, so let's go out the outdoor here <clears throat> I don't see any in exterior lighting per se, but we did hit all the light switches, I do believe. Yes, the light switch, switch was over there. Um, yeah, and there you have it. That's uh, probably one of the nicest repair uh, workshops um, you're going to find on Farming Simulator, at least for all platforms. And that's a vehicle workshop by Pascal Krutz. 15.84 megabytes to download, only 12 slots on console, it's for all platforms, and thank you for watching. I'm Looney Farm Guy, and remember, it's only a game, so till next time, bye for now. <laughs>